In today's video, Barbara rides a bike, I drive a car, and we maneuver a boat. Hello, it is so good to see you again. Last time we talked a lot about our galley and how excited we are for this first big woodworking project. So this video is all about the preparation for the shipyard. A lot of you suggested that we should take the boat out and have a look at the bottom. And that's exactly what we thought. So we made an appointment at the shipyard. And they said we could come in two weeks. And that was two weeks ago. So now we are kind of in a hurry. And as it is quite stressful, I don't know what exactly will be in this video. But I have bad news for all of you who waited for more ripping things apart videos. That will definitely be not in this video. Hi, we are Daniel and Barbara. The last years we spent sail racing against the best sailors in the world. But we always dreamed of living on a traditional ship and sailing the ocean. So we bought this huge 82 feet ship in need of a serious refit. We want to restore her and convert her back into the beautiful sailing ship she once was. We need our car during the time in the yard because it's always easier. If you need something, you can just get in the car and get whatever you need. But the problem is we go to the yard in Urk and there is no good public transport connection from here, from Lelystad to Urk. So we had to come up with an idea how to get back from Urk and we decided to take the bikes because there's a really nice bike path alongside the Eiselmeer. So now we bring the car to Urk. So the easy part is done and now comes the fun part and we hope we have following wind.
Before we leave the dock, I want to tell you a few things about how this ship maneuvers. It's a long keeled single prop vessel without a bow thruster. So when going backwards, the ship always has a tendency to go to the starboard side because of the prop walk. So you only can go to starboard when going backwards and after a long time the, eventually the rudder starts to work a little bit. When going forward it's possible to go in both directions but you only can control the stern of the ship and there's basically no option to control the bow. So it's kind of difficult. Since we are short-handed and because of the wheelhouse it's kind of tricky to talk to each other during the maneuvers, I think it's best to make a plan before leaving the dock or maneuvering the boat. And this time the plan goes like this. First of all, we need a really badly drawn ship so that I can show you how the lines and everything are lit. Let and we have a stern line here, a second stern line here, a four line here, and a second four line here. The first step is that we set up a provisional maneuver line going in this direction. So it's a stern line, but can also be a four line and then we start to untie the docking lines in the following order. The first one is the first stern line, then the second stern line because we have the maneuver line, and then the four line, then the second four line and that one will be the last because this line gives me the possibility to hold the ship in place in every direction. So that one is the last one this, that has to go. And the last step is to take the fenders in because we only need the fenders if we are docked for a longer period of time and not for maneuvering. So now let's start the engine. The crossing to Urk was quite thrilling and I think it deserves its own video. So next time will be all about the journey and some unnecessary incidents. Therefore I end the voyage here and before we continue with some presents, please don't forget to hit the like button. Since this is our first time in a shipyard, we ordered quite a lot of stuff. And now comes the fun part. Let's start the unboxing.
let's start with the most important one. Since we have a lot of rust on our ship, we reached out to Terco, who sent us this great machine to get rid of all the rust aboard our ship. And we can't wait to try it out. But more on that in an upcoming video. To make maneuvering in the future a bit easier, we ordered this nice shiny bow clip. You can never have enough bags for the shop vac. And in here is some personal safety equipment like safety googles, ear protection, second ear protection and some filters. Since we are living aboard during the time in the shipyard and we can't use our toilet, this one was a must have. And last but not least, since we figured out that we have to sand the paint in between the layers, we had to buy a sanding machine. You see, there's quite some work in the yard and we are really looking forward to this time packed with a lot of interesting projects. If you don't want to miss them, then make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.